guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of My Next Life as a Villainess. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. What evil? The actual game, yeah. Obviously, this isn't true because she hasn't done anything to Maria. Then you would play the opening. I mean, because, okay, ow. Um, she hasn't done anything, and we don't really know who's about. <laughs> She's taken. I mean, technically, we're in the what I like to call harm route because everybody's obviously in love with her. So everybody's gonna really be, you know, the person to bail her out of this. I don't know. <laughs> her harem is going to save her. That is all I have to say. Her harem will save her. They will save the day. And then in the end, they'll all get married to her. There you go. Boom. That's how you end the series. She doesn't get one person. She gets everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Because the thing is, she hasn't done anything to Maria. She's been nothing but kind and sweet and gentle to Maria. But because of the fact that she's not doing it like the game. You would have assumed they would have skipped all this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, don't. But we know that's not going to happen because she hasn't done anything to her. It's fake. Told you.
see that sparkle. Yeah, but not by Catalina. Mm. They just jealous bitches. Jealous bitches get their butt kicked. Mm -hmm. Maria, she's so worried about this black, um, the fog and the shadows. Let her go by herself. Aw, oh, dang it. Why you say that? That's girl now gone. What if Maria turned evil because of that shadow? Like, I don't want to think that, but that's the only thing that I can really... It makes sense. It would add up. It's the only thing that could really make the most sense. My thing is, why hasn't anybody gone to that freaking cave that they went to to do their test? Because that's where she could have gone.
someone like who? So then it has to be that shadow figure. See, it's it would be weird if it was just one, but it's stranger that every single one of these girls are part of this group doesn't remember that. The Black Shadow! And Maria's the only one who's able to see that thing. So it makes sense that like, she's the one that goes after it. But because nobody else went after her, she's now like MIA. But then the question is, who would have it out for Katarina? Or, you know, when Katarina was still a regular old schoolgirl, who would have it out for her? Somebody in our group is a traitor. I don't like this. Not knowing Katarina, she's going to do something on her own. That's going to be her doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, acquired hell though. I don't like this. Yeah, but because of the fact is you didn't follow any one of the roots, you had to open up something that is brand new that you've never seen before in the game. Because 
something isn't adding up. Okay, poor baby. Oh, well, yeah, because you haven't gotten much sleep. Is now where that he comes at a really interesting time. I don't know because I really like him, but at the same time, I don't think he would be a traitor. But something about this isn't right to me. Bad guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. The mornings right now. Right there! <laughs> Right there. Right there. How did I do? <laughs> mm, right under your nose. So he had to take Maria. What's the matter is you can't be trusted. Well, she said red hair and gray eyes. He's the only person who has red hair and gray eyes. Seriously? I feel like he's lying. I told you. I told you. I told you. Oh my God. Oh my god. Wow. 
why though? Why Well, um, um, <clears throat> well, you can't trust the redhead characters either. You can't trust the blinds. You can't trust old people. You can't trust anybody because typically in animes, the people that are listed that you can't trust are usually the bad guys. But my thing, it didn't explain really why he hated her. You just hate her because of this reason, but there should be more to the story with that. Maybe next week we'll give me a little more ish to it, but like. So now she's just sleeping forever. And, and somebody's got, this is now turning into Sleeping Beauty. Is Maria going to have to be the one to wake her up? I mean, how are you going to get Maria back? If only. She knew about this sooner. There could have been a way to avoid all of this. I have so many questions that are like possibly not even going to get answered next week. And it sucks, right? This episode went by too fast. <laughs> like, what was this episode? Like, oh my god. And... That's also why they kept telling her, don't go anywhere by yourself or even be by yourself. And then the first thing that she does is she goes, sits in the bench and just remembers a moment where, you know, her and Maria first met and then bam, bad guy, bad guy. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why you don't go out by yourself. You don't go out by yourself at nighttime. You just, you know, you know, you, you, you just, you know. You phone a friend, but then that doesn't really work. Or, you know, she could have just asked the nurse to just walk her back to her room. And then none of this would have happened. Well, then she technically would have sold him alone and he could have came whatever he wanted to. But, mm. See, in my mind, I there were times where I kind of had a bad feeling about Sirius. But, like, it kept, anytime when I saw him, I was like, no, 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 no. Like, I was like, mm, he okay. Always trust your gut instincts. Always. I mean, if you know, you, people have like weird instincts. Like for me, like when I feel like something bad's gonna happen, like I get these really weird feelings. And I don't know if everybody has that, but if you get those, stick with it. <laughs> don't brush it off. <laughs> stick with that ish because usually when your mind and your body is telling you, hey, something about this isn't right, you know, stick with it. Trust yourself and others. Don't always, you know, sell your friends out or anything. Because you never know what could happen. You could possibly die in one of the bad endings. You never really truly know. And then you might not even have a chance to try again, you know? But, um, 
I'm scared for her and everybody else. I mean, the dream, like, it felt more like a premonition that if she doesn't wake up, everybody else is going to die. And let's say she does and everybody else still dies, she's going to end up alone, which is possibly for her, her biggest fear. I don't know. But since it seems like now Katarina is now out of commission right now, it's really just up to everybody else to part of the sorrow except Maria, unless Maria does something in this next episode because of the fact that Maria is now what in this deep sleep somewhere as well. Maybe in a dream Maria might come to her. I don't know. I mean, it could be so many different possibilities of how these next, what, two, three episodes that we possibly have left for this show to see how it's possibly going to end. I really have no idea. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of my next life as a villainess. If you guys en <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Ledger Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.